Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel Natural Love 83. In this video, I will be doing my first thrift store Dollar Tree and stuff that was given to me haul all in one. Um so let's get right into it. The first items I got is from the Dollar Tree and I got these little jewels and gems that I can use for my son. I will be making him a sensory board, so I will be using these in his sensory board. And then for science or earth science, I got him this crystal growing kit and it has the rock and the um, things to help make the crystal on the inside. So I got this because he can touch it and we can feel it as it grows. So I hope he likes this. Also from the Dollar Tree, I got some foam these were ten for a dollar and I plan on making him some more letters and numbers tactical letters and numbers and so I thought this would be good to um, make the letters and the numbers with and then I can use either glitter or glitter glue to give it some texture so I probably have to get another one of these but got one pack to start off with and then I got some glitter, some glitter, and then I got these toothpicks. We are going to do another project that's going to call for me using some toothpicks. So got some toothpicks, and I think that is all from the Dollar Tree. Um, the next items I got are from the thrift store. And I got some felt because I want to make the boys a felt board. Side note, I also try to find items or activities that both my three-year-old and my 11-year-old can um, do. Or I can switch it off, like make it this way for my oldest son and make it age appropriate for my three-year-old. So a felt board, basically both of them can use. Um, again, the texture for my oldest son and then the texture also for my youngest son. But um, I found this at the thrift store and it was a dollar. And then my mom, she found these items also at the thrift store for me too. These are felt pieces. It has um, circles, hearts, I think trees. So stuff where we can make a story and stuff like that so that was good I also got these lays from the do uh, not the Dollar Tree from the thrift store I say the Dollar Tree so much that is just a part of my vocabulary but I got these from the thrift store and these will go on my son's sensory board that I will be making him I also got these I don't know what they're called um exactly but um you probably use them around like to decorate but I'm also going to use these on my son's sensory board and got these at the thrift store too so really was happy about that and what else and I got these at the thrift store as well little clips I got two of the blue ones and then I got, these are the magnetic kind where they can stick on a refrigerator on a, or on a magnetic board if you have one. And I thought these were good because, again, my youngest and my oldest son can both use these. With my oldest son, because of his uh, index finger and his thumb, I can help him to do this motion so I can put this in his hands and help him to squeeze and that'll help build up those muscles in his finger and thumbs and then also with the blue ones I can put it in his hands and help him to squeeze and help build up those muscles as well so I thought these were good for him and for my little one as well um, um, and then this oh no sorry this my mom got me from the thrift store and so it holds some of my supplies and I really like it 
and now the next items I will be showing you are things that I got from the another discount store so in this little blue kit I keep my little ink stamp and I got all of these for 15 15 cents a piece and so these are good like if we want to do an art project and we want to dip it in ink and I can help my oldest son to press it down and then he can also feel the um I don't know what you call these this part but he can feel it and so I keep all of these in my little blue kit and my ink pads I did get these from the Dollar Tree too I don't know if I would get these again from the Dollar Tree only because they go they get dry really quickly so I might have to get a higher quality or better quality I should say better quality ink stamps ink pads my mom got these for me these are glitter glue sticks and they is 30 of them in here and she got these for a dollar 99 so I was very happy about this and we will be using this <laughs> kind of like a little southern draw these <laughs> oh it's 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 getting it's getting to be late I'm getting a little tired <laughs> my mom also got me us these finger paints and these were two for 99 cents in and, and we got pink blue yellow and red so thought that was good and then I got this translucent wrap for 87 cents 87 cents and so this will be used for my son's sensory board as well and we will be making um i'll be doing another project that i'll upload where we're going to use this paper as well and then the last thing my mom had got this for me as well this was a birthday present but I can also use this with my oldest son for earth science this is a herb garden and so it has the three pots and it has seeds and so he can help with growing herbs so that's really going to be fun and that's all of the stuff from my haul no it's not no it's not I'm sorry I got one more thing I got this from the dollar the thrift store as well see again the Dollar Tree it is just a part of my vocabulary <laughs> um, but yes I got this from the thrift store as well and it's called hush the Lord is talking and other true tales and it's by dr. Ronald s. Williams the second and I thought this book was cool because african-american and the illustration The illustrations I thought were interesting so this will be a part of his language when I read to him we will um, I will log this for language so this is all of my stuff from the Dollar Tree the thrift store and discount store and then the last thing I want to show is just a little activity that I came up with the other day my uh, youngest son I found this old uh, birthday bag for him and I said I, well, I couldn't just throw it away so I said what can I do with it so I saw that it had the matching cars so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut cut them and make little cards out of them and I'm going to turn them into a game for my oldest son and for my youngest son for my oldest son because the colors are bright I can show him the card and say oh this is a red car and then what we could do is get one of those little fuzzy balls get a red one and we can match the fuzzy ball to the red car a fuzzy green ball or puff ball is what some people call them a fuzzy green ball to the green car and so we can do that game with him and then for my youngest I was thinking because he can see and touch and turn things over he, we could turn it into a match game with him so I can actually get three games out of this for my little one um, he can match the cars the color cars 
see like the two red cars, the two green cars, and the blue trucks. He can match those, turn them over and match them. Once he learns how to read, some of them have happy birthday on them. This one has happy birthday, and this one has happy birthday, and he can turn them over and match the ones that say happy birthday on them. And then we can also, with my youngest one, I can also have him match the backgrounds. So that'll be cool that I can get two game, basically four games out of this. One for my oldest and then some for my youngest. So I thought that was really cool and I wanted to share that. And that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoy it. And I'll see you at my next video. Bye.